Integrating fill in the blank questions into your personal study can be a really effective way to make learning fun and engaging. Good news is you don't have to struggle with creating such kind of questions from the scratch. ChatGPT has made this not only fast but accurate and in this video I will teach you how to get this done in a matter of seconds. Let's get into it. So ChatGPT can come in handy in creating fill in the blank questions or German question like many will call it. And there is a prompt I've written out, create a fill in the blank worksheet for the topic breakup plexus. It must feature the various components of the breakup plexus as well as a bit of clinical anatomy. It shouldn't be too complicated because we have a 200 level student and also give a list of the answers to the blanks first before generating the questions. You know this thing we do in primary school now in which we have a, a list of answers and then there will be gaps for you to fill in, fill in the gaps. I think that's what they call it in primary school. Let me give an illustration of what I mean. There's my pen. So let's say we have a, a list of questions right here, maybe a pronoun now, you know, in primary school now, and then there will be a question maybe a gap and then sentences sentences another gap sentence and then another gap and then they ask you fill in the blanks with the answers provided on top here they, maybe this one will come here this one will come here and the likes or they will just give you randomly and ask you to just fill in the blanks so that's something you want to create you know it's an engaging way to learn maybe to make your learning more fun maybe you want to use it as a practice question for your colleagues maybe in a group study it can come in really handy maybe you are in a school where they usually lift out questions directly from the slide or maybe directly from your notes all you have to do is copy your notes and paste it to charge it and ask it to create fill in the blank question on that particular um, um thing you've copied but let's just use this prompt for now and just derive random fill in the blank questions okay so um come in let me remove my pen come to my browser Let's copy this prompt first and then let's paste straight to chat GPT. All right, don't worry, I will attach this prompt to the video description so you also have direct access to it and try it out. Tell me what you feel about it. Drop your observation in the description, in the comment section and let me know um, how it went at your end. And just before I proceed, let me inform it. I want just five questions, okay? So it doesn't give me more than i require okay so we're just using it to practice so i want five questions and a list of the answers first okay so let's see what it comes up with and yeah it's going to give me five different answers first and then the questions themselves with their different uh, blanks okay so number one the dash of the breakup pleasures uh, the five initial segment will involve the virtual remind of this 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 i can see the answer to it is yeah number one roots and then the dash nerve one of the major peripheral nerve that 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 was the answer to it the axillary nerve okay so you can see we can even convert this into a flashcard if we want i think in one of our videos we already talked about how to create flashcards so this is one of the numerous ways ChatGPT can come in handy for you as a medical student and let's say i don't even want ChatGPT being the one creating random questions for me let's say i want it directly taken out from my lecturer's slide all i have to do is um pick this same prompt okay and let's copy it just like in this case we'll make it involve our lecturer slide i have a slide on breakout place so that's what we use so it shouldn't be too complicated I also give a list of the answers to the blank face before generating the questions okay i want the five questions derived from this let me use my colon and then let me go and copy the aspect of my lecturer slide that i want the questions derived from okay so this is my slide on break up lectures again and uh, let's just say this is area this is where i want the questions the fill in the bank questions from you know let's say maybe you are in a school where they usually lift questions directly from the lecturer slide or maybe directly from your notes all you have to do is um use chat gp2 to derive fill in the blank questions from that particular note or slide you have at your hand and with that you'll be a step ahead of your lecturers in a way okay so you'll be able to prepare yourself better at least so let's see what it comes up with we already gave the same prompt but want it derived from that particular slide and you can see yeah it is creating five different questions with just the aspect of this slide okay you can copy more if you want uh then you can keep deriving 
more questions as it suits you. So this is one of the many ways ChatGPT can come in handy for you as a medical student. If you found this video helpful, do it to hit the like button and of course subscribe. Subscribe so you don't miss out on our numerous amazing content. Thank you. The name is Dean.